All right, Shalom Akim, Kahalayim La, Yahab Bashimi Hawasha, Baha Raka Kodash. Double honors to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me the truth. And salutations to you, Akim, out there in the four corners, laboring in the truth with all righteousness and sincerity, which includes you, confusion of faith, brothers, who don't look like your average, everyday, so called Negro, Latino, and Native American, but you're Israelites according to the Holy Bible, man. All right, and to you, I say Shalom. So this is the brother Kai Hai here. Back with another video, and I just want to go into um just a quick little a vid talking about how um if you love the Lord, you're gonna keep them commandments, man. All right, and that's just plain because you got a lot of guys out here who talk about they love their brother, they love the Lord, you know. But guess what? They're not keeping the commandments of you. How about Shimi How All right, and the men of Great Millstone, Lord will we be the men of the elect, man? We're the hopeful elect. We keeping them laws as and commandments to the best of our ability, man. You know. Cause that's hey to the to the to the farthest reach of our faith, we keeping them lost as your commandments, man. All right, that's the um that's how we show the Lord love, man. Okay, you hear it out in the world. If you love me, show me you love me. Don't just say it, you know. Cause the scriptures talk about how the people honor them, uh, honor him with their lips, but their uh, minds are far from him. Okay. But with that being said, this is the book of John, chapter fourteen, verse fifteen. It says, "If you love me." Keep my commandments. All right. Keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Because the scriptures talk about how the commandments are life, man. All right. And in order to uh to, to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahab Hashim Al Shah, all right, and to love him, you got to know what love is, man. All right, not according to the world. Okay. So let me get this in the book of um first John chapter five, verse three. It says, For this is the love of Yahab Hashim Shah. That we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. All right, his commandments are not grievous. So I want to look up that word grievous right quick, you know, just through the spirit. Just so we have an uh, understanding about how much the law says and commandments of Yahab Hashim uh, uh can be um, um, good for us, man. All right, it's not grievous, okay? This is, a, this is grievous on the Google definition. It says of something bad, very severe, or serious. Synonym, serious, severe, grave, bad, critical, terrible, awful, crushing, calamitous, and so on and so forth. All right? The laws are not crushing unto us, man. The laws are life, man. Okay? Because in the ancient world, when we follow the law, statutes, and commandments, see how about Shah always took up for us, man. He always saved us, man. Why? Because we uh, uh, we was following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, man. Okay? So they're not crushing. The laws are not vexing. All right? It's not it's not that hard to keep the law, man. It's the same thing with um uh, uh when you a kid following your your um your fleshly father's rules of the house, man. And guess what? Every time you kept the rules and stuff, you always get rewarded for it in some uh, way, shape, or form. You know? You would you wouldn't get in trouble, right? It's the same thing in truth. Okay. So let's go back to John 14 and 15. It says, If you love me, keep my commandments. So now that we have the um understanding of the word love. And that his uh, law, statutes, and commandments are not grievous unto us. We're going to keep them. And that's what the men of the elect are doing, man. Okay, that's that's what true love is. Okay, verse 16, it says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Okay, and that comforter is talking about the Holy Spirit, man. Okay, it's not some, some, uh, some, some black man talking about he's the comforter, he's the comforter. Nah, man, it's comforter. It's talking about, all right, that Yohanna guy. This, this comfort is talking about the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh All right? The Raka. All right? The uh, uh, Kwadash. I mean, Salakia. Raka Kwadash. The Holy Spirit, man. Okay? That's that comforter. And the Holy Spirit gives us understanding of the scriptures. All right? The Holy Spirit is a gift from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Okay? The scriptures talk about uh, uh, us having the unction to know all things, man. And that's the Holy Spirit. You know? And that um that Holy Spirit is gonna uh buy with us forever as long as we're following the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shah. Verse 17, it says, Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be with you. Yeah, that comforter, man. Okay. Yahweh Shah, he's also a form of the Holy Spirit, man. Okay, he's he's within us, man. Even though we can't see him. You know, we believe he's there, all right, because the scriptures talk about having faith, man. All right, and that's, that's a part of keeping the commandments, man, having faith in the Lord. And he's going to deliver you from troubles, man, okay? Verse 18, 
I will leave so I can, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. And that's what Yahweh did, man. All right, he came to us in our minds, man. He sent the he sent the Holy Spirit down and um he's he's something with us as we am, as we uh, uh push on in this truth. Okay? Yahweh is something with us, man, through the Holy Spirit. Okay, and we can feel that the energy, even so from my elders and our apostles, because they're ruling over us right now, man. All right, so we 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 feel that. We feel that. Okay, verse 19, it says, oh, it's like it, but he said, I will not leave you comfortless. Yeah, man, like like I was saying, man, Yahweh is not going to um, leave us comfortless, man. This These scriptures give us comfort, give us, you know what I'm saying, a reason to relax, like everything is going to be okay. And really, in all truth and sincerity, everything will be okay, man. Yahweh Shemashah talked about how he was going to preserve the elect, all right? And that's why we always pray, Lord willing, okay, Abaratazah, we are those men. All right, it says, verse 19, yet a little while and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me because I live, ye shall live also. Yeah, man. So because Yahweh shot is life, man, because he lives, we live, man, because he gave us life, man. All right. He's he's he died on the nation. I mean, he died on the cross. All right. To, uh, to redeem us from our sins and our transgressions, man, because if it wasn't for Yahweh shot, we would all be dead right now, man. You know? Which goes back into why we keep the love, statutes, and commandments of Yahabashim Hawasha. Because we love him, man. We, we want to show the Father and the Son that we love him both, man. And not just words, but in actions. Because again, that's what love is. Love is an action, man. Okay? Verse 20, it says, At that day, you shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. All right? And that's plain, man. All right? This is not talking about physically, it's talking about spiritually, man. Meaning what? We're all going to be on one accord, which is doing what? Following the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? Verse 21, which is the, uh, the point I want to get up to. It says, um, he that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. So, yeah, so we love you, Habashim Yahawashah. Because what? We, we keeping those commandments. Okay? We love in the Lord with all our mind, body, and spirit. We love in our brothers as we love ourselves. Okay, we need to be doing those things, man, because we love Yahweh, which is the ultimate brother. Okay, um, it says, "And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father." All right, and the scriptures talk about in Matthew, the twenty fourth chapter. Um, uh, matter of fact, let me just go ahead and get it. Talking about um, when you confess Yahweh before men, he gonna confess us to the Father, man. I forget which um which verse it was. But let me, um, let me, uh, let me look for it. I think it's a little bit further up. It says, um, it's lucky I can just bear with me. Just bear with me. Yeah, man. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is, uh, Yahweh Shah dealing with us, man. Okay. That's why we got to keep our faith in him. And, and just continue to do what we told, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, hey, just keep the order. All right? Because he sent that, that comforter with us. I don't think it's in this chapter. I think it's Matthew the 10th chapter. Salaki, Akim. Matthew uh, 10. Let me see. Yeah, Khan. This is the book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 32. It says... Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. And that's what we're trying to get, man. We're, we're trying to get our names confessed to the Father, or through Yahweh Shah, who is the mediator between uh, um, Israel and the Father. Okay, we're trying to we're trying to get our names, the elect, confessed to the Father, man. That's why we do these videos. That's why we keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, and so on and so forth, man. All right, because we're trying to get confessed to the Father, which is in heaven. Verse 33, it says, But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. All right, and that's plain, man. If, you, hey, if you're not with your house right now, then you can't be with him later. Okay? He's not going to confess you to the Father. You're going to catch that sword, that sword of grievous destruction, man. All right? And the elect, Lord will we those men. We're not trying to get that. The elect is not trying to get that, man. All right, we're not trying to get destroyed, man. That's why we go out and we confess Yahweh Shah to the world, man. All right? It says that he that loveth me 
so let's like it back in back in John 14 and 21. It says that he that loveth me shall be loved of my father and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. So, yeah, man, when you manifest something, that means you are uh, you are uh, um, like make known to. OK, it's you. You can behold it, you know. And spiritually, Yahweh Shah is beholding this. Um, we beholding Yahweh Shah by keeping these love statutes and commandments. Because Yahweh Shah said he's going to um, uh, sup with us, man. Because what? We're seeking um, uh, that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, you know? So he's going to, um, he, was, he, he said he's going to manifest, uh, manifest himself to us, man. All right? Because at the end of the day, man, we're just trying to get crowned, man. All right? We're calling upon Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shah. For our salvation, okay? And that's hey, that, that's that's pretty much it, man. All right. Now speaking of those commandments, I'm gonna get one last scripture and then I'm gonna just wrap it up, you know, just through the spirit. Cause I pretty much hit the point. This is book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 30, okay. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start at um Yep, I'm gonna start at verse 29. It says, and Yahweh shall answer him, the first of all the commandments is, here, O Israel, talking to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, that's that's plain. It says, the Lord, our power is one Lord. Verse 30, and thou shalt love the Lord, thy power, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. So that's plain. That's the first commandment. Okay? That's the first commandment. All right, so you 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 got to keep those two. Well, you got to keep that one first, and here comes the second one. It says, in the second is namely this: If thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, there is none other greater. There is none other commandment greater than these. That means, and don't get it twisted. All right, for you simple guys out there, man, you Christians, that doesn't mean all the other commandments is least important, but these two are just the most important, man. All right, because being in the truth, we gotta we gotta love our brothers, man. All right, you say you love Yahweh Shah, you gotta love your brother, man. You gotta show your brother the same love you would show Yahweh Shah if he was on the scene right now, man. All right, and that goes to working us uh, your salvation with fear and trembling. All right, so don't get simple, man. Brothers need to learn how to, you know what I'm saying? Be brothers, man. Okay, I say that for myself, and I say that for anybody who who, you know what I'm saying? Who who might be going through this, man? Okay, so these are the first two greatest commandments above all other commandments, man. And there's 613 commandments altogether. All right. So with that being said, man, Lord willing, I can was edified. You know, just hey, man, just continue to uh, keep the faith first and foremost, and uh, um, hey, just do the work, man. All right, keep the laws to the best of your abilities, man, because as we uh, as it's evident, man, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is coming back. Sooner than we believe, man. Our salvation is nearer than what we believe, man. All right? So with that, I say, call like him, like you. How about Shalom.